Hey, my beauty queens, welcome back to my channel. For uh, I'm gonna be doing some makeup today, girl. I know I've been gone for a while, bitch, but a bit I'm back now. So I've been forgetting to upload videos, matter of fact, I've been having stuff going on. But anyways, <laughs> so anyway, I'm be uh, doing step by step beginners makeup. Uh, Makeup tutorial for my beginning people that want to get into makeup or start wearing makeup or whatever. So, mm -hmm. all, my, all my little makeup artists out there. Mm -hmm. So, let's get started. What a wonderful. If you started getting into makeup, the best primer you can use is the uh the F Putty Primer for turn and the Hydrator Primer for F for turn. These the two good primers, girl. So, but anyway, before we get into this makeup, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, and go follow me on my Instagram. Oh, she growing real fast, girl. So, I just put this all over on my forehead, and I just, like, rub it in like that. Mm-hmm. So, if you just begin your makeup, you, you if you just want to uh, start doing makeup and foundation and all that, make sure you prime. Anyway, what I was saying was, before, oh, you got to prime before you do the whole Shebang, bitch. So, mm -hmm. so I got a bunch of. I gotta do my eyebrows. I'm gonna show y'all how to do nail trick, girl. Mm -hmm. I'll comb through my eyebrows. All right, then. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm using the. The LA color of brow pencil, right here. I'm just gonna like draw some little hairs up in there. I'm going for natural today. So, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna use this concealer for Elf, right here. It's for Elf. And it's in shade. I can't read the little words at the bottom. See, there's some little words, and I'm about blind. So I just picked on the back of my hand. I'm gonna, I'm about to go in there and like clean it up. I'm gonna go in there. want a, a good natural look if you go on that um like business meeting church that type of shit a nude palette is good for you girl so let me show y'all how i gonna work this nude palette in this natural look so i'm gonna i'm gonna go into i'm going to this shade right there mm-hmm with this little blender brush, going to that shade, and I just want to start like blending it lightly up in there. Mm -hmm. You want that cut crease moment? Let me show y'all how to do the cut crease moment. Uh. I'm going to show y'all how to do a bunch of black smoking eyes. So if you want to learn how to do a, like, a black smoking eye and all that, go to my one of my master classes. 
on here on one of these videos. I would tag it in there. I would tag it in. Uh, I would tag it up here at the top. Somewhere in this part of this video. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Just smoke that up. Just like, keep blending. You want to blend your eyeshadow like. You want to keep blending your eyeshadow until it all over. Like, keep blending until it look, you know, smoke out and blend it. Like this, like this. Mm -hmm. So, if you want a darker color, I'm gonna go into this brown right here, right here, and I'm gonna start smoking it. Just mm -hmm. doing it, just go in there and start smoking it up. If you don't want to use like black, use a darker color close to black. Mm -hmm. They work out real good. So when you get right there, make sure you go in a little circular motions. It will help you blend it out. Just go in a little circular motion. Right there. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't want no lot of smoky out like this, just pop a little shimmer in the, in the corner, in the in the crease. So, I'm going to pop this little shimmery color right here. Y'all can't hardly see it because the light in there. So, ooh, y'all can't hardly see it because the light. But anyway, it's like a, a golden, a gold thing, look. I'm just going to like pop that right there on the lid. Right there, yonder. Mm -hmm. If y'all want a good cut crease eye, there it go. Just, just pop a little shimmer on the uh, on the inner corner. You ain't got to go all wild and, you know, club looking. Just pop a little shimmer right there on the corner. On the, in there. Like, it ain't much makeup in my eyes, but. Look at that. Just pop a little shimmer on the, on the corner. And I do got a little fallout. So, if you have fallout, it ain't nothing to be worried about. Just wipe it off like that. It'll be all right. Just wipe it off. Mm -hmm. And get a little cotton pain. If you have like a little accident like that, get a little cotton pain and like go across it like that. It'll be all right. It's just makeup. Just just pop it off like that, girl. Mm -hmm. And add a little. A little more primer right now. It'll be all right. It ain't nothing serious, but now let's move on to foundation. I do my natural looks. I want like a little glow. I don't like want a little glow skin girl. So mm -hmm. I'm come. I coming up this uh with this body glitter. Most of y'all had already seen it, but here it go. A little bit goes a long way. Girl, I tell you, a little bit goes a long way. So I just got this little bit right here on my hand. And I just want to like put it right down the You see how? Yeah, it's it'll real being like lotion, girl. So it's just body cream. I like it like under my eyes. Cause it give me a little glow under my eyes, girl. You see that? I don't put it all over my face because I don't want my whole face looking glow. So yeah, a little bit goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Look 
put that. I just I just put it under my eyes like that. So give me a little bronze look. It's the it's a bronze bottle cream. So mm -hmm. look at that. And you you can actually put foundation right on over it. Go at the it go on the foundation. Anything you uh you want to put on your face here. It go under there. Mm -hmm. When I ain't wearing makeup, I wear it. You can use a basking with makeup or whatever you want to use it for. Mm -hmm. I just using the little the little fit me foundation to you know like how in there. So I don't go too much under my eye because concealer will go under, under there. So. Mm -hmm. Make sure your foundation is blended because you don't want to be looking all patchy and you know just one dipper or two dip. You can use two different found two dips or uh foundation like this little bit right here because the fit me foundation right here from Maybelline it goes a long way. Mm -hmm. so I can cover two sides on with two dips. I can cover with one dip, but you know. Mm -hmm. A bit of closer so y'all can see how my foundation lay down. So I'm gonna come in with the F concealer. I just use this F concealer like the contour my nose. Like that. Mm -hmm. That's all I use the F concealer for. But I'm using the black radiant. What it is? What it is? Mm -hmm. What I was saying. I'm gonna use the black radiant uh, foundation stick. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use this lot of shade right here. I'm just gonna come like under my eyes like that. Or just not too much. I'm gonna use this little beauty sponge to blend it out. And you gotta make sure you blend this out because you don't wanna look all, you know, with a white cast under your eyes because that ain't that ain't cute, mama. So make sure you just bounce that into the skin like that. Mm -hmm. Now look at that. Smooth. She looking smooth, bitch. Time for powder. So y'all know I like y'all know what powder I like. The black radiant loose setting powder. And I use the darker shade. So I'm just gonna dip this a sponge in there. By the way, I got three sponges for for the white thing under my eye, the white concealer, the dark foundation here. So make sure you don't use the same sponge. I use three different sponges. So I'm just going to like sit on my eye, like that. I'm just going to leave some mud under there, just baking a little bit.
Mm-hmm. Look at that. So, for what I'm gonna use as eyeliner is the black and the palette. I'm gonna use this black right here in this palette. And I'm just gonna use that as eyeliner. Just pat that in there like that. Make a little wing. That's how you do it. Like that. I just don't like making a little wing. You can use eyeshadow as eyeliner. I know a lot of people that do it. Cause most people don't use eyeliner. I know I don't. And I'm just gonna smoke out the under eye with that black. Natural beach. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face. Should I do it on camera or off camera? Wait a minute, I'll come at and we're gonna contour. For contour, I use the black radiant uh contour palette. Right here, I go into this dark shade. So I use this brush. This is from this from this the F brush. I think so, I don't know. I just I right, pat it a little bit right there. And I right, blend it up. I blend it to my um to that setting powder. Mm Over here, like contour that. I just go all the way across. Mm -hmm. My jaw. I just sweep her across like that. No big deal. Now, let's go into lips. Coming up with two lipsticks. So, which one to lose with this? So, I'm going to use Jungle Queen. So, I'm going with Jungle Queen. She got this dark, light, brown right here. And you done a natural look. Oh, she good for natural look. And he like, yeah, natural, don't know much makeup. Yeah, that what she good for. Now I'm going to do some touch-ups, put on some eyelashes off camera, and I'll be right back. So this makeup, this makeup look is beginner friendly. So if you're a beginner makeup artist, you can, um, let's get started in makeup. You can follow this video along. I just added some blush and some eyelashes off camera. And so this is the finished look I completed. Return. Yeah. So hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, go follow my social media link down below. Yeah. So my discount codes link down below. My website to purchase 
purchase these, this makeup palette right here or the body cream that I use on my eyes or some eyelashes. So, yeah. So, I will see y'all later. So, all right, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.